Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we discussed how to understand through an ultrasound report when a normal delivery will occur and when a caesarean delivery might be necessary. In today's video, I will discussing the advantages and disadvantages of normal delivery and caesarean delivery. Which is the better, normal delivery or caesarean delivery? So let's get started. Before the discussing advantages and disadvantages of normal delivery, we need to understand how to normal delivery occur. Typically, normal delivery take place between the 38 to 42 weeks of pregnancy. At any time within this period, the labor pain can start. This uterine contraction gradually intensively. Along with this, the cervix begins to dilate. As the cervix dilates, you might notice the release of some clear fluid along with a small amount of blood. Alongside the cervix opening, the baby head start move downward. This makes to complete the delivery. For the onset of labor pain until the birth of the baby, a significant amount of time is required. For those giving birth for the first time, this can last around 12 to 18 hours, while those have a second or third baby, it could be around 8 to 10 hours. After baby is born, the connection between the umbilical cord and the placenta is cut. Gradually, placenta is expelled. There is an overview of normal delivery process. Now let's discuss the advantages of normal delivery. Number 1. Normal delivery is a natural process. Its biggest advantage is that after delivery the mother can quickly recover her health. The mother can often resume her daily activities more quickly. 2. After normal delivery the risk of infection is lower and there is a less bleeding. Number 3. Normal delivery involves low cost, take less time and requires less hospitalization. Number 4. After a normal delivery, the mother breast supply milk quickly, allowing the baby to start breastfeeding soon after delivery. Number 5. Normal delivery does not involve abdominal surgery, reducing the potential impact on future pregnancies and deliveries. Number 6. Normal delivery does not lead to anesthetic effects. On the other hand, normal delivery is also benefit for the baby. Number 1. Easy access to breathing. During pregnancy, the baby enclosed in a fluid-filled bag and it breathes with that sac. During a normal delivery, the baby comes through a narrow vaginal canal and as a result, pressure from the passes help to expel the fluid from the baby's lung. It is help the baby respiratory system mature after birth. Number 2. Boost immunity. During normal delivery, the baby comes into contact with some beneficial bacteria from the mother's body. This helps the baby gut health and boost immunity against disease. Number 3. Facilitate brain development. Additionally, a normal delivery assists in the baby's brain development and maintain various hormonal balance naturally. However, there are some disadvantages to normal delivery as well. Number 1. Normal delivery is a painful process which leads to fear and anxiety for almost all women, but there are many methods available nowadays to reduce pain. Number 2. To undergo a normal delivery, one always needs to be prepared because labor pain can start at any time. Number 3. During normal delivery, sometimes the baby's head might get struck, leading to the tearing of the some proportion of the birth canal, known as a perianal tear. Stretching is required to heal the tear. In such a case, the recovery process can be delayed. Number 4. Until the placenta is delivered after normal delivery, there can be postpartum bleeding, which can harmful to the mother. Number 5. In some cases, during delivery, an episiotomy might be necessary, where an incision is made in the perianal area to ease the baby passes. The name of this procedure is episiotomy, and it might be required stitches as well. 
Now let's discuss how a cesarean delivery is performed. Cesarean delivery also known as C-section involves delivering the baby through the surgical means by making an incision in the mother abdomen. For a cesarean delivery a plan is made first. According to the plan the operation is conducted in the operation theater. The first step is to administer anesthesia through an injection which renders the mother unconscious. At this time the pregnant mother can talk, see and hear everything but only her lower abdomen and legs remain unconscious. Next the mother abdomen is sterilized and sterile clothes are used to cover the area. After this it is unsure that the anesthesia is working properly. If everything is okay, the surgeon will begin make a incision. First, the upper layer of abdomen is cut and then subcutaneous tissue and then muscle tissue and then peritoneum and final layer of the cut is uterus. Once the uterus is inside, the baby is delivered and the placenta is removed. After this, the final part of incision is made. Each layer is carefully stitched and the end, the skin is stitched up. Thus, in cesarean delivery, around 5 to 7 layers of abdomen are cut to deliver the baby, and all these layers are stitched afterward. Now, let's discuss the potential disadvantages of cesarean delivery. Number 1 Sign Cesarean delivery is a major surgery. There is a risk of infection and excessive bleeding can occur. Additionally, the recovery time after cesarean delivery can be longer. Number 2. In cesarean delivery, sign anesthesia is used. There is a possibility of reaction. The nerves around the injection site can also be affected, leading to prolonged discomfort. This is why sometimes individuals experience prolonged low back pain after a cesarean delivery. Number 3. Breastfeeding may take longer to initiate after caesarean delivery. Number 4. A caesarean delivery, there is a possibility of complication in future pregnancies such as placenta previa, uterine rupture and other complications. Number 5. Certain breathing related issues may arise in babies born by caesarean delivery that typically do not occur in babies born through normal delivery. Number 6. There is a risk of urinary tract infection and injury to the urinary bladder is possible during this surgical procedure. However, cesarean delivery have some advantages as well. Number 1. Planning can be done in advance for delivery, allowing for awareness and preparation to deal with the unforeseen issues. Number 2. Since cesarean delivery involves surgical intervention, Labor pain is significantly reduced or eliminated. Number 3. Perianal tear that can occur during the normal delivery will not happen in the case of cesarean delivery. So, these were the advantages and disadvantages of both normal and cesarean deliveries. If the question arises about which one is better, normal delivery or cesarean delivery, it can undoubtedly be said that normal delivery is better unless there are health risks for both baby and mother during pregnancy. Normal delivery is a natural process, but many women fear the pain. But it is possible to have painless normal delivery through the various medication and method available today. For a normal delivery, we need number one to have a lot of patience and prayer to Allah. Number two, eating nutritious food and time to exercise regularly. Number three, seek advice from a qualified medical doctor right from the beginning of pregnancy. Number four, immediately go to hospital when the liver pain start. With this, you normal delivery will happen, inshallah. So no more today. Hope today's video was helpful for you. If you find the video helpful, do not forget to share it with your friends. Please subscribe to my channel to get health advice, health awareness and reproductive health related all the videos. And remember to become a member of our family. Stay with us healthy and safely. Thank you for watching this video.